Okay, today um, is a video basically by request. Um, I'm just going to show a few block, block wall experiments. Um, I've got a uh, what I describe as a um, a detection device in, in one of my papers. It's basically just an iron lamination that's been cut in half and cut into a, a, an arrow on the end. It's got a piece of wire uh, looped through the hole. I'm going to use a compass just to show the poles of the magnet and I've got some magnetic viewing paper. Um, so today basically all I'm going to show is how the block wall can move um, with the uh, addition of extra magnets. Okay, what I'm going to show is I'm going to show a single magnet. Um, with the signal magnet, single, you can see there that, probably not very well, but that's actually a north pole uh, facing out the south pole is actually attracted to it. Uh, with the signal single magnet we can see a block wall and we can see the block wall nearly is right in the middle of the magnet. Not always right in the middle but sometimes right in the middle, sometimes just to, just off to the middle. So you can see there's a definite block wall there. Okay, what I do with my little detection device is I hold it up to the magnet like so and it's easier with stronger magnets but I don't know if you can quite see that but you can if you feel that you can feel that there's a reluctance between the um, between the block wall you can feel the blade wants to be one side or the other not in the middle there's a reluctance between the two I'm not sure if you can see that anyway at the moment like I say block walls in the middle of the magnet and you can see that and feel it clearly. Okay, if we add another magnet in attraction mode, okay, so the compass is still facing in the same direction. Now we can see if we check the block wall's moved. So the block wall now is in between the two magnets. So you can see there it's not in the middle it's actually between the two and it's actually grown the block wall has actually increased in its length and again we can actually feel that there's a, a stronger field in there and you can see that the the blade wants to be one side or the other you can feel there's a definite a definite jump and you can probably see it hopefully you can see it on the camera but there's a jump between the two. So if we add another magnet, again in attraction mode, so you can see the compass hasn't changed. And you can see again block wall. So it's a bit hard to actually get a definite, but the block wall has actually moved again. It's bigger and it's in the middle of this magnet, in the middle of the middle magnet. So you can see there it's changed. And again, with my detection device, you can actually feel there's a definite jump now that it's quite a bit. So it doesn't want to be in the middle. The blade doesn't want to be in the middle. You can feel there's, there's it's either up the top or down the bottom. And basically, you can just go on with, with that, and the more magnets you add, the bigger the block wall will be, um, the further it will move, um, and you can actually see that the bigger the magnetic field around the magnets, um, the bigger the block wall, and it does move, the block wall moves with the addition of magnets. Well, I hope that clears up any confusion, and I hope it shows what I was describing in my paper, hopefully a bit more clearly now.